Hi, I'm Kevin Hill, and welcome back to another episode of our Desert Painting Together. We're going to pick up right where we left off, and you guys voted for a vast valley looking down into the scene, so that's what we'll get started on today. Now, as you can clearly see up here, I've got just a simple sketch. That's just so that I can put the, the mountains kind of in the same spot that I told you they'd be, or similar spot. Obviously, it won't be the same because it's just a sketch. Okay, so now here we go. This is the basic thought for the mountains. Already, I'm going to change something. Already. We gotta do something up a little bit taller right here, just for the sake of doing something that's a little bit different there. See how that changes that up just, to, just enough so it creates a better flow, so tall, short, a little bit taller. Okay, <laughs> now we're not gonna detail this thing out, and also here's where we're gonna be standing. I'm not even gonna get close to detailing this out, but let me just take a little bit of our brown, touch of red, blue, black, so that I have a nice soft color. And I'm just gonna paint this in. Remember, this is dry, this yellow. That's why you're seeing absolutely zero mixing. Now, <laughs> we lost our sky, but remember I said I was gonna do the sky quick and easy and, and whatever you guys chose would be okay. And this is why. I'm losing, I'm losing the sky area and there's nothing I can do about it. I'll just simply take this yellow and I'll bring it back up here, maybe do something really pretty back there. There. Okay, good. So no worries though. We'll, we'll do a highlighting episode maybe or just do it as we go along. I don't know if we're just starting. This is fun. <laughs> okay, now that's gonna take forever. So I'm gonna grab a, at least a one inch brush here. All right, see that? Just scrub this in, just the dark. We will pick everything out with highlights. And you know what we could do? You tell me, but maybe we wanna do a little bit of snow up here. I mean, I've seen those deserts where they have snow, you know, maybe, I don't even know where it would be, but, you know, somewhere real high up in the mountains, they have snow and ice and maybe a little ice down in the shadows, you know, it could be winter. We could do that. So it's up to you. I don't know if you guys want to see that or not, but you let me know. We'll come up with a, we'll come up with a vote here for how to continue. So I'm just going to block this in for the next few minutes. I'll come right back. Now that we have the canvas coated, I've just taken the last couple seconds to just wipe down this area with a paper towel. It gives us these beautiful little streaks and lines because we had that yellow, the sky kind of underneath the mountains there. Okay, so let me take a little bit of yellow and white on a, on a filbert brush. My palette's messy just because I was painting earlier today. Okay, so there we go. Now, I don't wanna just go in here and highlight the whole thing. That's definitely not the idea. It'll take us a while to highlight all this. And also, I'm not exactly sure what you guys want so let me just for now start to develop the feel of this so that we all can at least see it. It's a little tricky to see as it is. Now, again, we're on a, on a little mountain, which is right here, we're almost on one of these. I don't know if they're quite this tall, but they're pretty tall. So, which, that, which means that we can see, and our light's gonna be over here. I'm gonna strengthen the light. It'll come from this section right there. But that means <laughs> that we are going to see the top of these mountains. If you were down in the canyon level, then your mountains will be a lot taller and you would not see the top. We're going to see the top and that's how we're going to create the, the appearance that, you know, it's that we're level with them or just lower, but not much. That's how you do it right there. Slice that light right over the dark like that. Obviously we're going to come in and, and make this nice. This is not even, I don't even know if I would consider this really too much of a highlight. This is just a roadmap kind of just mapping in the mid-tones, which by the way is a good place to start. If you're ever confused, just start mapping in mid-tones. It'll, it'll come to you. Make sure you don't have too, too much detail here. You could easily over detail this area. Okay. And maybe right here, watch what you can do. See how you can just slice some of this in and create another little another little section of mountain like that. And then it always kind of flattens out like this. And although you would, I kind of want to keep doing this, but honestly, if you look at photos of canyons, it, it more goes the other direction like that. So that's more the direction that one, and then you can kind of level it out. So that's more what we'll try to keep up with today. Now I've changed here to the little detail round brush because I need a smaller effect in the background. 
Again, my little light source is right up in here, and I'm, I'm thinking about that as I put on these mid-tones. I've done a couple of brighter ones, but not much. Just more to, more to help me see the depth in this thing, because let's face it, we're painting the same thing over and over again. You've got to see the depth in order for it to look good. Okay. Oh, wow. I'm just thinking of all sorts of cool things we can do in here. And, and I'm going to play around with with some ideas here and, and see what you think. I'll run them by you here at the end. I'm thinking of all sorts of cool things we could do. I mean, the snow would be cool. We could do, I mean, this doesn't even have to be a, a desert like we would think of like with cactus. It could be, it could have other trees in it too, you know? If, if we do like maybe like a, a small river down there or a frozen river or a dry riverbed. Oh, a dry riverbed, that could be cool. So anyways, we'll figure it out. But I think we definitely need something down there for visual interest purposes. So see what you guys want. All right, I'm just, I can't do too much now without, without that information from you. So I'm just gonna do as much as I can here. I might even take these one step further than I was planning to today, just because I want you guys to have a, a decent video to watch and I'm running out of little areas to do without, without the knowledge of what we're doing down in the bottom. So tell you what, having said that, let's grab a little bit of purple. Purple on the detail round. Purple is a, is a beautiful shadow color for deserts, also beautiful shadow color, just in general for sunsets. There, don't use too much blue when you paint a sunset. Blue is, it's okay if you use it really carefully and if there's blue in the sky, otherwise, Stay away from the blue. There. Yep, that's, that's it, that's it. I love that effect there. Love the purple. <laughs> this is fun. So watch, I'm gonna leave a lot of that underpainting kind of showing through because I like it. And I'm gonna just drop some of these little shadows in. I'm gonna go to a slightly more blue shadow as I go away here. Yeah, but I mean, just still purple, just a cooler purple. There. Good, good stuff. You can have shelves that go out the other way. This is subtle, I'm not even sure if you're able to see it, but it's a shelf that goes out the other way. Good. Mm, lots of atmosphere, we can see for miles here. Yeah, see that? And then you just do the opposite angle, right? Because this thing, let me show you. Ah, different brush, that one's taking too long. Let me show you here. Brown, just a little brown, red. Watch this, right? This thing has got to be connected. So this part's coming straight at us and then it goes back and around. See how that works? It goes all the way around. I'm gonna stick some darks in, although careful about your darks. Careful about the darks because this is still pretty far away and I don't want to make it look close. This down here is gonna be dark. I want to see some atmosphere back here. I would be so sad if we lost the, lost the atmosphere, although we could put it back in, so it won't be too sad. <laughs> uh, too much fun, I love these, I love this series. This is kind of a lot of fun for me to be able to participate with you guys. There. I'm so glad you chose this. This was kind of the one I was hoping for, but I wasn't really sure. I mean, obviously I was gonna do whatever you guys wanted, but, and then like, it was, it was beyond unanimous. Everybody seemed to want this one. Usually it's pretty split up. Not this time. Most people wanted this one, so it's kind of exciting. But even if you didn't want this one, please continue to watch these, and, and I still value it, your input very much, so keep voting. And I just, I do whatever, whatever the majority of the people want me to, to do. Very simple. There. I don't have really any say in it at all. I just look at the, look at the website after the week and just do it. All right. <laughs> even last night, I didn't even know... I hadn't even looked. I didn't know what I was painting till this morning. There. Next, I'm gonna load up a three quarter brush in our purple. And I'm gonna work on this side for a little while. Now, we gotta kind of figure out what's going on here. I'm just gonna to touch, oh, that's a little too dark, isn't it? I'll lighten that, lighten that up just enough. There we go, that's better. All right, oh, that purple, it really works. Now, I'm not gonna do the hard shadow yet because we may even do that with a wash. I'm not sure, we'll, we'll figure that one out. The reason I'm not doing my hard shadow is simply 
because number one, I wanna get the light source in first. Number two, I wanna figure out what we're doing here, down here. I know we gotta do something. For now, we'll just darken it, because it needs to be darker. Because I know our lights, I might even move the light over somewhere in here. I was thinking right there, maybe right over here, right over, I, I don't know. But I want a hard enough line that we could get some shadows, you know, because shadows are pretty in a canyon. I mean, that's one of the cool parts of the canyon, is having a, a deep shadow area at the bottom. So we'll definitely do that. I think we wanna, wanna make sure that we maximize on our potential to create some interest down there. There, so I'm just kind of cleaning this area up, making this a little darker, a little more purpley and in shadow. Good. Kind of get a setup for the next thing that we do. Get some of these softer purples on this side as well. Good. <laughs> this is a fun brush. This little three-quarter brush is great for this. Totally works. I'm going to do a little bit of purple right here against this cliff. It'll help the cliff stand out when we go to do it in the next couple episodes, whenever that happens. Beautiful. Mm. A little bit more right in here. But don't overdo. Don't want to lose the prettiness of the, of the warm colors. All right, well now it's your turn to vote. So the first option we have today is we really turn this into a winter scene, as crazy as it seems. We'll maybe put some ice and snow up on the mountains and do a little bit of a small winding river at the bottom of the canyon, and we'll have that river frozen. Now, we still haven't thought about trees yet, so we're just worried about getting the canyon sort of figured out. Now, next, we could do a dry riverbed, keep it just a, a hot desert day, and a dry riverbed running through the middle. We could add a lot of visual interest to that. Or lastly, we can kind of go with it as it is and just detail out the canyon floor with a lot of rocks and boulders and things. And this might be interesting if we want to increase maybe more of the highlight on the mountains and make the mountains more of the feature. It's totally up to you. Now it's your turn to go to the website and vote for which option you'd like to see me do. All right, well, that's it for a little desert painting today. We really made a lot of progress. Now don't forget to vote for how you'd like to see this painting turn out next week. Thanks for watching.